Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Emo25 here bringing you another game on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and I was out almost the whole weekend just because this was laundry weekend. I had lots and lots and lots of laundry to do and I'm finally out of that duty, finally. So I was able to record and I decided to let go with uh, Romantis Plasma. I was not able to get good games. So, in the meantime, <laughs> I will be playing other deck and the deck that I'm playing is a deck that I like um, a lot because it deals pretty much pretty well, pretty well and pretty much with uh, Evil Tal Darkrai in Plasma. So, the deck I'm going to play will be Landorus, Mewtwo, Pikachu, I mean Raichu and Garbodor. So, let's go and check my first battle. And as I have told you before, if you cannot beat round, then there is no need to play that deck. So let's uh, go. <laughs> let's go and beat round. Um, yeah, I will start with Lone Pikachu, and that is that is a bad hand. <laughs> a very bad hand. Good for me. I was able to top deck that Hypnotoxic Laser. So what I'm going to do is I will attach that um, muscle band into my Pikachu and uh, laser that Jigglypuff. And by the way, this is a very classic um, round deck. The old school round. Well, let's, <laughs> let's try to beat this deck up. And since I can do nothing, my best thing to do right here will be pass. Yay. This Jigglypuff is sleep. It's sleep. <laughs> it's lazy and it will stay asleep and never mind. Because my opponent plays a switch, I really don't know why did he do that. And right there, no, 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 I was going to go for something. And now my hand sucks. Dang it. <laughs> there comes the, 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 the crushing hammer. He flips heads and... I don't like you. I really don't like you, you know? Ah. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do right here is I need to go for for a Landorus <laughs> because I need to st uh, to start to apply some yearly pressure and right there I was about to do a stupid move. So, I was able to take that move back. <clears throat> I will use that all trouble, get rid of one Trubbish. Uh, round really does not have abilities. Not that I remember, not that I know. Unless uh, this guy is playing some random Buffalant or Keldeo or Garbodor. But Garbodor does not shoot, that, shoot down Garbodor. Anyway, I decide to bench that Trubbish just to have another Pokemon on my bench. That way my Raichu can do more damage. And I will go for the Hammerhead, uh, and if my opponent does not evolve this Timple, this Timple is going down. If my opponent does not evolve, um, does not do something about the Jigglypuff, the Jigglypuff is going down, and I'm in a great position right now. I really have no hint, I have nothing really, but um, my opponent has even less. And right here we see the Jigglypuff coming, so that makes me think that he tries to get the Wigglytuff, or he has it. Which is not the case, and never mind, he goes for the thing, and that's unfortunate, that's really unfortunate. Um, I really wanted to kill this thing, haha. <laughs> <clears throat> But that end gave me Skyla, so that means I will have access to Escape Rope or a Switch, what I want to go for. Um, and right here I'm thinking that the best thing I can do is go for Escape Rope. There is not much that wants to take a hit from my opponent's side of the field. Right there I thought that he will promote the Timple on his bench that has a lot of damage. Um, he really does not want to lose that many run Pokemon. Yeah, so that is why he promotes this other Timple. Not a very good idea because now I will be able to get rid of Timple and maybe and well not Timple and Timple. 
the Temple on the bench and um, I will apply some damage into this Temple so uh, the next time he tries to attack with Seismitoad I only need DCU on my Raichu which I already have and that's it this to be Seismitoad will be dead I decided to get rid of the Temple because I'm really not that scared about Willy Tough. It's really not a card that I'm scared of. Uh, and the Temple is blue, so that means <laughs> my Landorus does not appreciate a Temple to the face. Here comes one Crushing Hammer. Tails, good, thank you so much. Really, thank you, I hate Crushing Hammer. Uh, it's not that I cannot deal with Crushing Hammer with this deck. Maybe this is one of the decks that really does not care anything about Crushing Hammer. But that is annoying, that is really annoying. Anyway, right here, um, I can play that Hypnotoxic Laser and uh, knock out this... Um, what is it? What is this thing called? I don't remember. Uh, Palpitoad. Yeah, Palpitoad. But at the moment I did not see the play. <laughs> Uh, I was a little scared of losing my Landru, so I decided to switch back into my Raichu, and that is a dead uh, Palpitoad. Right there I could have taken two prizes, but yeah, I did not see the play right there. Anyway, here comes the first singer. In a long while, here comes another one. And he will need uh, two Meloetta EX in order to knock out my Raichu. Which, by the way, he can. He has a Colrest for a lot of cards. Crushing Hammer, Tails, good. <laughs> Crushing Hammer, yay, Tails, Tails, please, Tails, good. <laughs> and here comes the damage into my Raichu. That was unfortunate. Three Crushing Hammers, Tails in a row. That is. That is a very bad luck, if you ask me. Here comes one Meloetta and he just needs another Meloetta and this Raichu is done. So, do you have the Meloetta EX? That's a no, so that means... Uh, that means my Landorus will be... <clears throat> will be giving you two prizes, but I will uh, weaken... Your uh, to be seismitoad. God damn it, I cannot remember the name of that. Palpito, that thing. Yeah, I was more worried about getting that extra damage on that to be seismitoad. That is why I decided to give up these two prizes. And I on after that, I will only need um, one more Pokemon in my, my bench, and one of my two Righteous will be able to knock it out in one hit, which is great. Mm. Right here comes a Timbo, that was a weird play if you ask me, uh, but I guess if you have Silver Angle that will be enough to knock me out, uh, maybe, or if you have another Palpitoad, because Palpitoad does match shot and that does 20, that will be just enough to knock out my, my Landorus. And we see a Jigglypuff coming down into my opponent's bench. Say goodbye, Landorus. You did well. You go to rest. And right here, I have no reason not to promote this Raichu. And that is what I do. Right there, I want to have um, Pokemon in my bench. And what I should have done was play my Professor's Letter first. Then play my Level Ball. Because that is a wasted Level Ball. Uh, <clears throat> I really thought that I had uh, another Pikachu on my deck. That is not the case. My last Pikachu is prized. So right now I will have to get rid of that Floatstone in one energy. I don't want to get rid of Laser in... Nor Laser, nor Beerbank, nor DCE. And obviously not Scramble Switch because that will, um, that will be a good card to have. So there goes the circle circuit that is a dead puppy toad and there is my pikachu pikachu why 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 did you have to go to the prices no you are not doing that anymore anyway 
Right here, here comes uh, another round coming from a Wigglytuff that will be enough to knock out this Raichu. I really don't care at this moment. I think I'll, I'm, I think I already have the game. Um, either with uh, Raichu, with Mewtwo, or with Landorus. <clears throat> there is not much that this guy can do to me. So I decide to attach that muscle van into my landers. That will be just enough to knock out this uh, Wigglytuff. And that will give me enough damage counters on the Palpy Toad if I want to. So I don't have to care about not having another bench Pokemon and knock, uh, knock that thing out with my Dark dar way. With my Raichu. So, yeah, as I told you before, right here, the game is basically mine. Here comes a muscle down into Meloera. I really don't know why. Hmm. Seems, I think, uh, Palpitoon can make better use of that. Uh, maybe he thought that Meloera was going to survive. And if you think about it, it's very possible for that to happen. Because my Landorus has 3 retreat cost, and I already played 2 <coughs> escape ropes in one switch, so it was reasonable to think that I was stuck right there. Here comes the Tool Scrapper, I really don't care at this moment, he did not play the Nen, so that means I can win. And another way I could have won right there was... Um, I could just uh, hammerhead with this, um, what's it called, Landorus into that Palpitoad and that is a Palpitoad. So really right there I had the chance to take to take two prizes uh, if I wanted, but I decided to Raichu is the star of my deck, uh, so Raichu has to do the last knockout and that is what happened. So. <clears throat> We beat Ram. That means we can go and have another match. Yeah, because we now know that it's worth it. Yeah, the deck is worth it. Anyway, this time I'm going against Radio Fridge, and I have played against this guy before. Uh, shout outs to this guy. This guy always plays weird decks. Uh, he's a very creative guy, and he will be playing Darkrai, Raichu, Land, Landers, Darkrai, Raichu, Terrakion, and Garbodor. That is a combination that you don't see every day, that is um, very intended to, to get rid of Plasma, if you ask me. Anyway, let's go and check this battle. I decided to go for heads. I flip heads, and uh, so I have to go first. I decide to go first. I think it's good for me because I want to be able to get uh, my um, what's it called? My trubbish out as soon as possible. And right there, I see something that it's not that common nowadays. That crater action is really not that common now nowadays. It was a few seasons back. Um, but now it's it's really not. Right there I did not want to risk any witch and any again, so I go for the end, which by the way gives me nothing. Yeah, so I'm back where I started. That's great. That's just great. <clears throat> Thank goodness this Ebola is asleep. Because uh, Muscle Van right there, Hypnotoxic Laser and Beerbank City Gym was enough to knock out this poor and lonely Pikachu, but my opponent does not wake up. That's good, that's good, that is good, that is really good. Oh my god, right here I will have to get a basic. I need a basic Pokemon. I cannot risk that Terrakion knocking out my Pikachu. And getting another Poke another basic Pokemon will allow me to get uh, an extra card with Cold Race. I decided to go for that Trubbish just because I have the Float Stone. I thought right there that that was the best move that I could go for. <coughs> And I get nothing again. Great. Great. Right here, I thought, okay, he will need either a switch and an energy to knock out this Pikachu, or he will need um, Dark Patch, energy on his discard pile, energy switch, and do weird stuff. So I decided to go for that nozzle. I flip heads this. Um, Sableye is really not doing much for my opponent, which is 
weird. <laughs> but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Mm. That Terrakion is really scary. Right now it's really scary. I don't have anything with weakness to Terrakion, but that will be doing 110 damage with just two energy. And that is just out of the reach of Mewtwo. So my opponent decides that he wants to have his army of Pikachus. Guess what? Two can play that game. I can have my own army of Pikachus. So Pikachu, go. Go for it. Oh my god. Too bad, I did not get the right choose. So right here I decide to play that switch. Um, I go into my Landorus. That will activate Retaliate on my opponent's Terrakion. I really didn't want to do that, but I want to wear down this Terrakion because right now that is the only thing that threatens my team, to be completely honest. Because that is a non-EX attacker. <clears throat> so here comes the Terrakion. Obviously the Retaliate is coming. Thank goodness my opponent ends me. I like my DC in my hand, but I get, an <laughs> I get that DC anyway, so... That's good, that's just great. Uh, right there, I will just evolve that Pikachu into Raichu. I will attach the energy into Raichu, just because I want to have a Raichu ready. And right there, I will play that Skyla to go for a Professor Juniper. There is no reason not to do that. I could have gone for Coldress, but seriously, there is nothing on my hand that I really want to save. Uh, so in the end I will just hammerhead, that's another 30 damage into this Terrakion and if he does not have the fighting energy my Landorus will be alive, which is good. So here comes his first Raichu, yeah, this will be the mouse showdown. <laughs> There goes the energy, he has a fighting energy, so that means Landorus, you did well. God dang it, Landorus, why did you have to die? Why? Doesn't matter, right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with that Raichu. I will attach that DC into my Mewtwo just because in case he tries to go with Darkrai or with uh, Raichu, I am... Um, I mean, in case he tries to attack with Darkrai or he has another Terrakion, Mewtwo will be will allow me to pretty much keep in check that Terrakion. And as you can see, he plays a very heavy line of Finding Energy, so that tells me that at least I can expect another Terrakion. What is weird is that I have not seen even a single double colorless energy. Anyway, here comes the Pokemon Catcher. I really don't know what he wanted to promote. Um, maybe my Pikachu? Maybe? But there is not much that uh, Pikachu can do. Right there, I thought, okay, I want my... Hmm. I want a Landers, so I will not attach that energy. That was bad because I did not get the Landers. Uh, if I could have gotten the Landers, that was the Pikachu. That is not the case, at least not right now. So I will attach that energy into my Pikachu, and here comes another Pikachu, and Pikachu is doing... Lots of things. <laughs> My army of Pikachus is going to plow through your um, your army of Pikachus, which, by the way, only has one left. And right now, my opponent needs um, at least two more Pokemon on his bench if he wants to knock out my Raichu. That is not the case, and right here, that was a huge mistake on my opponent's side. And in just a moment you will see why. I will get rid of Mewtwo and Trubbish. I really don't think I will use any of those. And this is why that was a huge misplay. Because now that Darkrai is stuck. Yay. <laughs> Darkrai is stuck in the active position. It will take two circuit cycle or cycle. I don't remember the name of the attack of Raichu. He will take one of those to the face, won't be able to retreat if he does not have the switch. Let's see, circle circuit. And that is two free prizes to me. And I have a Raichu, I have a Mewtwo and half Mewtwo and I have a Pikachu. And two Landorus in my hand. In the end my opponent draw dead right there. And that was the game. 
So what do you think guys? This is a very interesting deck. Maybe it can see some play, maybe. Um, maybe I will try it later. Anyway guys, that was the game, the two games. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more content. Thank you all for watching and since I was not able to upload that much this past couple of days, expect another um, video coming after this one, another uh, PTCGO game coming after this one and trust me, you will like it, you will see just how powerful a freaking right you can be. Trust me, that will be something that you must watch. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.